Okay, this week on Flaunt Your Site's Wednesday website review, we're looking at Albert Palmer's website. Uh, Albert is a photographer in Bristol. Uh, we've been getting a lot of UK photographers lately on the reviews. Maybe the Flaunt Your Site review thing is kind of a big deal there. That'd be kind of cool, huh? Uh, so, uh, so Albert's site here is very clean and contemporary, very nice, love the ribbon. Uh, uh, it's the only touch of color in here, really. Um, but uh, very nicely laid out. And, and Albert only does weddings here, so it doesn't make a, a lot of sense to have uh, what I typically suggest is service pages up here, weddings, portraits, um, you know, boudoir, etc. cetera, um, as those top level uh, menu item for the service pages. But uh, that means that the, the homepage usually has to do a lot of the heavy lifting. It means that people have to click uh, each of these pages to find out more. Um, it's not a bad thing, but you want, want really want to ensure that you're driving people to the next step or to uh, contacting you. Uh, the website should be uh, looked at kind of as a guide that, that walks you through the process of hiring you. So you want to think about how to do that in your case. Maybe, uh, maybe the menu is numbered and uh, with the steps on how to work through the site. And that process is how to hire you. Something like that is different enough from other photography websites, uh, and it can be uh, like a hook that more and more potential customers make it through the process. So, you know, something to consider. Um, nice portfolios, or you know, just a small slideshow on the front page. Um, down here, though, these kind of confuse me. Um, you know, there's these galleries here, I think, uh, but there's really no description on any of them. Nothing like such and such wedding or you know like a full wedding um, and you don't want to waste people's clicks you only have a minute or so before they click off your site so if you want people to click through to something you should let them know what they're getting into before they click through um, is it a blog post is it something that will further them down the process of hiring or contacting you do you have contact do you have call to actions on each um, so and sorry, interrupt, don't mind the email coming in. Uh, and on a site that, um, you know, on a site that is named after the owner, um, I really think you should have a photo of yourself on the home page, especially when it says, Hi, I'm Albert, and you're really nowhere to be seen. I think a, um, a good. Uh, a good portrait of you, a headshot, looking right into the camera, that's critical. I think, uh, you know, I say this on every review, but uh, that connection is really important. I think you want to want to show that off. Uh, so let's see here. The portfolio. So the portfolio is really nice. It's, uh, it's good that you have some info on here down below, um, down below just the, all the photographs here. Um, it's good. I would, you know, you have a couple things here, letting people know where to, you know, get in touch with you, find out about pricing, etc. Um, but I would uh, make, I would make large buttons with call to actions down here. So after they get done reading, they can, uh, you know, you could say something like uh, interested in more or shoot us an email for more info. Um, you know, if they're on a large button, maybe spanning, maybe just a different color, something a little bit larger that stands out, um, you'll actually get, um, you know, people a little bit more prone to clicking on them. And one thing I noticed up here was the title tag, um, just from an SEO standpoint, the title tag could have a little bit more on it. Um, Bristol Wedding F Portfolio or Bristol Wedding Photography Portfolio. Um, with a vertical pipe and then Albert Palmer photography. I think that's, um, you know, you might be, get people searching for Bristol wedding por portfolio, Bristol wedding photography portfolios or something like that. Um, and you want to be careful, I noticed this on a couple of other pages, is you actually use, uh, obviously not this one, but you use Bristol wedding photographer in multiple pages. And or it's either the name of your site or something you're doing in Yoast or something. Um, but it's showing up in multiple title tags. And that works against you. One page will rank for one keyword, um, not, not the entire site. So don't get into the trap of throwing that same keyword on, on every or multiple pages. That'll work against you ultimately. You want, you want unique 
uh, keywords for each of your pages. So this one could be, you know, like I said, uh, uh, Bristol Wedding Photography, or sorry, Bristol Wedding Portfolio, or something along those lines. Great, so then let's take a look at the pricing page here. Now the pricing is down here is really laid out really nicely with the the vertical columns with the the price and the extras and all that. But I'm not a fan of um, this image up top. Um, it makes it so that people have to scroll down to get to the info that they're really looking for. Um, if you're going to use photographs, I would kind of intersperse them um, left and right in this text. Uh, maybe use something that, that connects with people rather than just uh, a couple rings. I would maybe do something where there's a bride looking directly into the camera. That will create a connection where the, um, where the viewer is all of a sudden want to be in that person's shoes. They want to be in where that bride is. Um, and then uh, I would also, you know, down here I would I would have again a button uh, call to action, something that takes people to your contact page. You, um, something like yeah, sounds good. Let's let's get the ball rolling, or something in your own words where you you can move along people into that next step. Remember that that the site should be should guide people. So the next step after looking at your pricing would be to contact you. Uh, you don't want to rely on the on your visitors to go back up here and click on the contact page uh, from the menu. You know you want to have that step right there for them. And in addition to that, I would I might remove these badges. Um, I know they're good for you know social metrics and and all that, but um, you know it doesn't even look like you can click through to them. Uh, but these, I would also remove these. You don't want to give them something to distract them or to click away from this page. You want them to go to that next step, which is the contact. Let's see here. The about page, um, I, I really like the about page. Um, however, I, I'm going to address one of my biggest pet peeves in the world, and that's crooked horizon lines. Um, it, I'm a photographer as well, so this is one of the things that is like one of my just absolute, you know, worst things. Um, I, I I can't stand crooked horizon lines. It, it's a subtle thing that really throws off your viewers, um, unless it's some por forced perspective, like looking down railroad tracks or something like that, or you know, like there's a forced perspective in the image. Um, always one of the, the the first thing I do when I look at photographs is to make sure that the horizon lines are crooked are straight and um, so I, I really recommend uh, and, and I'm a film photographer so the next thing I do is spot all my film <laughs> but it's, you, all my horizon lines usually get straightened before I do any uh, any spotting <laughs> uh, so I would really fix this and it, it will look it'll look good you you're not gonna look crooked in the photo um, you fix that horizon line, and it'll look great. Um, and uh, let's see here. So, um, and and people when they view it, they're they're not they're not off balance when they're viewing an image or your site when it comes to this particular picture. So, um, the rest of the about is great. I love it. I love that you're using a narrative that versus one of those. I love this. I love that. Um, kind of checklist thing, which a lot of photographers use, um, which drives me nuts. Uh, but the narrative is great. I love it. I love the story. Uh, what I would love to see that would take it to a next level, is, and and it also will connect people to you on another level, will be to sprinkle in photos um, that enhance the narrative. Photos of your wife, your daughter, uh, Mitty and, and Mr. And Mrs. Tigglesworth, your cats, right? So if you use small images uh, or medium images in WordPress and align them right or left, um, kind of intersperse them in this narrative, this text that you have here, that'll really you know connect people to you on another level. And um, yeah, bring people into your word through your not only your words but through your photographs. Um, and, and I love that you have a contact me down here. That's that's good, that's really important. Um, you Like I, I had been mentioning the call to actions, this is, you know, 
probably adequate. I would have a little bit more contrast when you hover over it. So maybe the text turns white. Um, so, but yeah, this is adequate. A button, you can go even lot wider to make it stand out more, but um, it doesn't need to be much, just something that kind of stands out. I, I'd maybe make this a different color too. Um, when it's not hovered over, something that, that it actually stands out. Maybe, you know, that color looks like that's what it does when it hovers over it. So, you know, maybe find another color um, that works that kind of stands out and grabs people's attention. All right, so the books page, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's nice, all that, but I, I, I'm not going to touch on it a whole lot because I was a little confused thinking that when I clicked on books, you're some author or you had published some books or something. Um, and I'm a photographer. I kind of thought that you were talking about albums, but I think you don't want to have that ambiguity um, when you have uh, non-photographers, potential clients, you know, what is this page, um, what it, what is, what's going to happen when I get there, you know. Um, and, and I'm not really sure they're, they're worth being in the top level menu. Um, you know, I, I saw that you might have um, a link to it from the pricing page uh, with the extras. So I'm not really sure it belongs up here, uh, but really you got to take a look at your analytics and, and you have to make that determination. Uh, you know, take a look at your analytics, see if people are booking you or contacting you after they see the books. Maybe they really like the books that you have and that's one of the, the reasons they are contacting you. So you never know unless you really look at the data and... Um, you know, you can make changes on your site based on how people are you actually using the site, not, um, you know, how you think they are. All right, and then uh, the blog, I, you know, I the blog is, again, pretty straightforward. What I really liked about the blog is that when you got into the blog posts here, you, you have these taxonomies here of season and style, which I think is very, very cool. Um, but when you click through to each one, I don't think you're using them to the full advantage. I think you can leverage these uh, taxonomies um, even more so for, for uh, SEO purposes. So I think here, um, you know, right, right here you're just using the typical Spring Weddings Archive um, and then the site name. But I think the title tag could be something like Spring Weddings in Bristol. And I, there's probably someone out there that's searching for that particular term. And then, so I would do that. I would make those changes. And you could do that with the Yoast SEO plugin. Um, and then I would also add some interesting text in here talking about spring weddings in Bristol or spring weddings in general in London, or sorry, not London, but England. Um, you know, that, that sort of thing. Talk a little bit about it, or maybe what you like about it. What what you know something along those lines, and then say, hey, here's here's a, a small smattering of of blog posts that we've done, and you can get some examples for spring weddings in Bristol. If you use the that a uh, little bit of uh, keywording in your text here, this is one of those things that can uh, you know really drive you more and more long tail traffic. So you'll you know, easily start ranking for, you know, smaller terms like that, spring weddings in Bristol. That'd be, you know, something, you know, pretty good to get as, as uh, you know, maybe a first page ranking. It may not be like the number one ranking, but, uh, you know, you could probably easily get, you know, first page ranking with a, with a very smaller keyword like that. Um, and then, um, yeah, so I would definitely use those to your advantage. I don't, I don't think you're leveraging those enough. And, um, you know, so if you have a developer or, or, you know, someone that can actually do that for you, I'm not sure if this was a, a template or a theme, but this is something that we can easily set up for you if you need to do something like that. Um, and then on, on each of the blog posts, I would have a call to action on, on, your, on each of them. Um, maybe down here underneath the text, it could be a subtle one or all the way down at the bottom, uh, you know, beyond the photos. Um, you, you do have a lot of photos, um, so, you know, you can't 
reliably guarantee that someone's going to get down to the bottom. And, uh, you know, to see that call to action, see the, all the photos are still loading and I've got a pretty fast, you know, speed dial up or not dial up. <laughs> Who's used dial up? I've got a pretty fast, uh, uh, you know, cable connection here. So um, you, they may not get down to down here to see the, the call to action. So I think maybe that, uh, oh, and I'm glad you got a, you know, up to the top button there. But, you know, you might have something down here that's a subtle suggestion. You know, it could even be just text with bolded or something along those lines with a link to your contact page. Um, it doesn't have to be too, you know, in your face, especially if you're doing it up here. But something that, that drives them back to contacting you without actually having to come up to the menu and do that. Um, definitely a good site. I, I think everything is really well written and thought out, um, you know, information wise. Now, you know, just, you know, guide people through your site and have them contact you. I hope all that helps. Thanks, Albert. Have a good, uh, have a good day.